these voices in the background of my brain. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Luli, luli, luli. Hi. I told, I was just on live on TikTok. I was just, I don't know why. <clears throat> why do I have an accent? Why do I feel like I'm talking? Weird? Okay, stop. I was just on live on TikTok and I'm mid doing my hair right now trying to figure out if I want to be extra with my edges or not and I keep rubbing this aloe vera water into my lips because my lips have been like super chapped these past couple days like my lips are never super chapped so you can't really like tell tell they're being chapped but I could feel them just being drier than usual and it's tripping me out I need it to stop so I'm just rubbing aloe vera aloe vera juice into it hello beauties hello hello how is everybody doing i'm about to do a makeup tutorial on my youtube because people have been asking me for that lately and i'm like i don't really i'm not really great at makeup but i'll give you guys something but um yeah i'm about to finish my hair first on live for you guys for my darlings that were there was about i think a thousand 1.2k on my live on instagram turns out people like when i go on live on tiktok more because they don't have instagram accounts which i thought everybody had a group instagram account but it makes sense that probably the youngins have more tiktok than they have instagram with their parents and stuff makes sense but right now just doing this can i add greg now um i don't think greg is supposed to be going live i think he can go live with special circumstances but not always so he probably can't join my loves that's why he hasn't been on live much lately because of what he is doing and the restrictions he's under but yeah are my ears uneven <laughs> I was just on live with a uh, TikTok and like TikTok has these settings where you can like filter, make your eyes look big bigger, make your like chin go more teardrop than like round. It was really weird. Really weird. Because I don't remember putting my settings that way. Dang, slick as all get up. Okay, I need to do my edges before I get distracted again. Because that's why I had to re my brush because I forgot to do my front edges like a silly goose and hello um i also just posted if y'all want to go like that picture forehead listen i already talked about this on tiktok my forehead be on a little different level sometimes it's okay though we love her i'm starting a new beauty standard where big foreheads are cute that's what i'm doing i've already decided it that big foreheads are cute and everyone's gonna think they're cute and that's just the way it is i mean people already think it's cute everybody like there used to be those posts where people were like man the baddest bitches be having the biggest foreheads and i'm like that's on period and that's on period gorilla glue no we only let one person make that mistake no need to do that again in existence Oh, what I'm using is Gorilla Snot, if that's what you're talking about. Put a little Gorilla Snot in it. Not sure why they chose that to be called that, but... Dang, I'm really not in the mood to exist right now. It's okay, though. I have school in a few hours. I'm supposed to be asleep. Uh, Lex or Layla, Layla, you should go to sleep, darling. I remember in high school, I never slept. I was always up doing assignments and homework because I loved waiting till last minute to do stuff. Procrastination is just like one of my best talents. I don't know how I became so skilled in the art of procrastination, but that's me and I got it. <laughs> I decided also I was not going to be extra with these edges, as you guys could tell, because I was going to... I was gonna try and then I was just looking at them and I was like, I don't think I want to. But what are you guys doing? You guys can ask me questions if you want. I'll be here for a little minute trying to figure this out before I do my YouTube video. Ugh. I'm really trying not to sneeze. Sneeze. 
that's kind of decent right it's giving me very much military right now i don't know why 1k yes sir okay red heart showing mom love sending hugs of course of course sending love to you too oh wait i'm mom i forgot i was mom hello my babies my darlings you better do your motherfucking homework i swear to fucking god i mean swear to that don't post that nowhere smitty where the heck is smitty y'all keep saying what's up to smitty y'all saying hello smitty oh hey smitty yeah them edges getting real laid right now because I'm really trying to get them to stick the heck down. But I forgot they don't like to listen to me. Ugh. Hello? But yeah. I'm done. I'm going to work. Teach you? Teach you how to edges? I don't even know how to teach this. It's literally you buy the right tools, the right gel, and you just go with the flow of your hair. You just pull them down a little bit to get them to line out and then you swoop them back that's really all it is the hard part though is getting them to match on both sides because i'm a little ocd and i just want them to be the same and they're never the same so you really just have to like make peace with the fact that they're just never gonna be the same me doing homework y'all better be doing your homework Turn on Q&A. I thought I cut. I thought it. I thought I know it wasn't on. Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. I just click it. Okay. Can you be my big sister? Yes. Theoretically, yes. Biologically, I don't think I can just change up the gene code. But as for everybody that follows me, all the young girls and the teenagers that are like me, that just want a little extra love and advice in life. That is my goal. And I don't mind being your big sisters. I had a really dope big sister. I mean, I still have her. But <laughs> like growing up, I had a really cool sister that like helped me with a lot. And I know a lot of people don't have that. So that's why I'm here for you guys. Um, you did it so effort effortlessly. Listen, back when I was first learning how to do my edges, I could not do them this fast. I promise you, when they say practice makes perfect, you have to practice in order for it to like become second nature. Um, how old am I? I'm 19, 19 years old. And a lot of my followers are pretty young. That's why I'm always like my babies and my, my sisters and stuff. Because I know that they're pretty young. And growing up without siblings is really hard. I couldn't imagine growing up without siblings because we talk about everything in this house. And they, my big sister is like way older than me, so she's definitely a little bit more wiser than me. So she was actually able to give me really good advice growing up. Now, not so much because now we're like kind of both struggling. But <laughs> all right, next question. Oh, sorry, wrong thing. Wait, hello. Why isn't it that we just go to questions? Oh, there we go. There we go. Um, I'm not talking like a Jamaican. <laughs> Why, but a lot of, lot of grand questions. We're just going to skip over those. <laughs> okay, mom, what do I do? My boyfriend broke up with me because he said I'm ugly for some reason. Um, don't, what? First of all, awful boyfriend taste. Any dude that dates you and then decides that, even tells you that, it's just bad person in general so i'm glad that that ended because you need to move on and go to somebody that is actually appreciative of your existence because i know none of my followers are ugly i only attract pretty girls pretty pretty bad cute everything that's the only type of followers i attract so if you follow me just know that you cute as all get out and that's simply just that right period can i get a period everybody y'all should know Anyways, um, will you do meet and greet? Yeah, I'll do a meet and greet. The only thing stopping us from doing meet and greets right now though, is the COVID. Like, we want to keep everybody safe and stuff. Like, even before this collab we just had, we had to all get COVID tested and stuff. So, it would be really hard to do a meet and greet under these conditions. It would be super difficult. So, it's we might as well just wait until you guys are actually able to, like, come up to us and hug us and stuff. While I was in Orlando, I actually ran into a couple of girls at the mall that knew who I was. And, like, I gave them a hug and stuff. But, um, yeah, we wish we could do meet and greets. We would love to. We just literally cannot right now. 
And even if we do do a meet and greet, we would give you guys hella time to prepare so you guys can, like, actually make plans to, like, come hang out with us.